and today I have a little bit of a nail haul, um, sort of. I guess, um, if you guys remember, I did my 88 Beauty haul where I got like 25 China Blaze polishes, and I was kind of disappointed because both two of my ombre sets had the same glitter topper, and I could have sworn they were supposed to have different ones. Well, I went on the website and I checked, and neither one of them were supposed to come with Lux and Lush. They were both they were supposed to come with two different glitter toppers, and then also one of them, um, two of the other polishes were wrong as well. So I emailed their customer service and told them, you know, hey, you know, this is what I thought I was getting, and this is what I did get, um, you know this is what your website says I'd be getting, but I got this instead, you know, I didn't ask for a refund, I didn't ask for them to send me other polishes or anything like that, I was just saying, you know, I'm just writing you to let you know that the information on your website is wrong so that other customers don't get confused as well. And I got a reply like within an hour saying that on Monday, because this was like sen or Saturday, um, and on Monday they were going to be sending me the polishes that I thought I was going to be getting and did not receive, and I got them today, which is really nice. Cause they, I was like, they did not have to do that because I wasn't. I was actually really. I liked the colors I got, so I mean, it, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to get free polish, so it just kind of happened that way. Um, before we start, I want to show you guys my nails. I think they're super, super cute. Um, I used. This one, which is Push and Shove, it's from the Gwen Stefani collection from OPI, and it's the um, chromey mirror finishy one that comes with a special base coat. And then on my accent nail, on top of it I used this glitter topper, which is also from the Gwen Stefani collection, which is called In True Stefani Fashion, which I love. I think everyone needs this glitter topper is just so gorgeous. Oh right, so I'm going to show you the china glazes I got and then I got one other polish in the mail that's unrelated to any of this. First off, this, these are all my china glaze swatches. Look at them, there's a shit ton. And one day I will, sh I promise I will show you guys all of them. The first one that I got is called Beach Cruiser. And these ones were supposed to be in the neon sunset um, ombre set, if anyone's wondering. Or at least that's what their website said. I don't know if they come with it or not. This is it swatched out. It's this nice kind of neon purple. The next one, who knew, is this one. And it is called Under the Boardwalk super nice kind of pinky color. Like this. Oops. The top of the frame. Really nice pink. And then not that one, but this one. This one. The glitter topper is called Make a Spectacle. Looks like this. And this is it flushed out. Kind of flashes red and blue and green and orange. And then the other one is this one. And it looks a lot like the other one, but it is no glow. And it looks a lot like it on the swatch too, except Snow Globe actually flashes like all the colors. If you can really get a good look at it, you know, it's got all the colors in it. So that's really cool that they did that because they did not have to do that at all. And if they hadn't done that, I still would be a um, true customer. I am a repeat customer of that website and I will continue to be a repeat customer of that website because I love them. Um, the other thing I got that I was probably super duper excited for is this. This is my very, very first 
um, limited edition Linderella polish because all the other Linderella polishes I have are all from the core collection or from um, twin sets that you can that are you know readily available. You can get them pretty easy and they don't cost a lot. But I got this one and it's called Love in the Afternoon. And all of her limited edition polishes, she sells them on her eBay store like her other polishes, but they're always up for auction. Um, very rarely can you buy a limited edition, buy it now. They're usually auctioned off. Which is fine. That's how I want this one, but it they do make it does make it a little bit harder to get and sometimes a lot more um, expensive than I normally like to spend. But this one, I caught it, I guess at the right time I actually got it for, I feel, pretty pretty cheap. But this is a swatch of it. Whoops. And I just think it's gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. I, I just love her polishes and I really wanted an, a limited edition, so. I bit the bullet and got this one and I couldn't be happier. I love it. I love the pinky, corally colored glitters with the black and the white glitters. It's just so pretty. And then, again, I was going to have my Hewlett Mystery Box today, but again, my male woman, instead of taking my package to the front office, which she's supposed to do, or putting it in the ginormous freaking packagey lockbox thing, because we have a whole bunch of them, there's like 20 of them, that, you know, you're supposed to put packages that are too large to fit in the boxes in there, and then you put the key to the box in the mailbox. Instead of doing that, she just put a little slip on our thing and was like, hey, come get it tomorrow, and I'm like, no, my tulip box, I want it so bad. So hopefully that just means the box is so big it wouldn't fit in the big giant lock, blah, 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 blah. That just means it couldn't fit in the lockbox. I know I'm dreaming, but I can dream. It would be so awesome if that was true. I would cry, literally cry tears of real joy. Oh yes, I dream about winning the giant mystery box from Julep every time I buy one. And that would not be it, uh, and it's true too, that's what's sad. But obviously, you guys will know if I win the big silver box with the, with the $100 gift card in it because I will literally explode. So, here's hoping I explode. Um, anyway, before I get too rambly and silly, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. Again, um, I'll have my jewel box tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to film a video tomorrow. I guess it kind of depends on if my husband leaves because I don't film when he's home. So if my husband steps out for a bit, I will film a video tomorrow. If not, tomorrow's Wednesday, I will film a video on Friday. So, there's that. So I will talk to everyone later. Bye!